Hello, my lovely apprentices, and this video, in this video, this is Theme Park Wizard, of course, here. Please subscribe below for some more awesome videos and theme park content, but in this video, I am going to discuss your results to the poll I made on my social media about your most anticipated rides coming uh, when you get to California Adventure. So, I made a poll, and I'm going to make one for Disneyland starting today so I'll uh, check out my Twitter and Instagram and Facebook for that link but I made a poll <laughs> saying um, saying uh, uh, listing every single California Adventure ride not even attraction but more ride actual thing you can ride and I wanted you to vote which ride are you most excited to ride when you get back to the park Spe specifically <laughs> Disney California Adventure and you guys with only 21 responses hopefully we have some more responses in the next polls and, and uh, when we do this for other theme parks but for the 21 responses we have recorded our results and here are the seven yes seven most anticipated rides that you guys are excited to ride when you get back to Disney California Adventure and definitely comment below any other theme parks you'd like me to do this for um, I'll create a Google, Google uh, form doc and you can vote on say the Magic Mountain which, which, one, which coaster are you excited to ride just let me know what on the comments below what type of theme park or what theme park you want me to do across the country or here in Southern California so without further ado uh, let's get started so number seven is Goofy Sky School <laughs> yes Goofy Sky School surprisingly made it onto this list um, I feel like there's, there are more responses that may have not made it onto this list because it is just so painful. It really is, at least to me, because for a dude, the way it positions kind of, it's just kind of painful. So I, I particularly don't like the ride, or I like the ride, but I, I definitely want to make my top 10 list. But yes, Goofy's Sky School. Um, that actually only got, of the 21 responses, that only got one vote. But uh, Goofy's Sky School is the winner for the number seven spot. Number six, Toy Story Midway Mania. Toy Story Midway Mania, classic favorite, always has long lines, and um, always runs out of a fast pass really quick, nice family attraction. I miss the ride too. I also, I also really miss the whole pier atmosphere, just sitting on the pier um, in the show, uh, at the, on the benches and watching the Incredicoaster launch, but if you turn around, can see everyone in line for Toy Story, Toy Story Midway Mania. The pier is a very, very nice place to chill out. So I miss Midway Mania and that whole atmosphere as well. Number five is Grizzly River one. Everyone <laughs> likes a water ride, especially now in the summertime. There have been multiple times, multiple days during the summer here in LA. That I was like, man, it's so hot outside right now. I wish I can just hop on Grizzly River Run and get soaked. And um, I really, really miss that ride, especially now. And especially, unfortunately, looks like when the park's going to open, it might be a little bit cooler. So the ride will still be fun, but it won't be as much needed as it will be now. Luckily, right now, it is kind of, it's cooler out here in L.A., at least for this next couple of weeks. So it's not too bad. When we get to 100 again, huh, Grizzly River Run won't be much, much needed. Moving on to the number four attraction, the fourth most anticipated ride, Soarin' Around the World. Now, I put in Soarin' Around the World slash California, so comment below which one are you more excited for, Soarin' Around the World or Soarin' Over California? And will it return as Soarin' Over California? That was a promotion during the Food and Wine Festival, which obviously abruptly got canceled, but I'm curious to see if... And we'll turn to Soarin' Over California. I really hope it does, because everyone seems to like the California version better. I think I'd be more excited for Soarin' Over California than Soarin' Over the World. And I think Soarin' Over California would definitely be higher on my most in more anticipated list, or Soarin' Around the World will be still on the list, but a little bit lower. What do you guys think? Comment your thoughts below on that specific um, question. But as we get into our top three, we got the big ones, the three key ones that everyone really likes California Adventures e-tickets and those e-tickets are the Incredicoaster the Incredicoaster I was just talking about how I love the pier ride but I really miss launching 0 to 55 miles per hour and going on the loop to the tune of some awesome incredible themed music 
Um, I really, really miss that ride as well. I've been some show. Sure I've been having dreams, but actually, the top three rides in this, uh, the top three rides I'm about to go over, I've had dreams about in which I was in on, and I actually just had dreams about the park in general. But the Credit Coaster, fastest ride in Disneyland Resort, and it goes for a screaming good time. Number two. Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. This is my personal favorite ride in the entire Disneyland Resort. So this is actually my number one most anticipated attraction. But for you guys, it's number two, and it makes most sense. It makes perfect sense as to why that would be the case. Because obviously, I bet you guys can guess what number one is, uh, because uh, it obviously wouldn't be down at number ten or off the list because it's such an incredible ride. But Guardians of the Galaxy is just as incredible ride, and I'm wondering since already July 21st. If the parks can't open up in August, we might just open up with Monsters After Dark, or, Mo or I mean, Disney, Disney should open, even if they don't have Halloween parties, they obviously want to do Halloween time, I hope, so they should open up with the Halloween overlay, Monsters After Dark, if they can't open in August, or any time, like in the beginning of August, they should just open up on September 6th with Haunted Mansion Holiday, and Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark, Guardians of the Galaxy Monsters After Dark is my personal favorite version of the attraction. And this next attraction, number one, unless it was supposed to have an Halloween overlay, but it never, um, never made it to fruition. They, I guess, were working on it and they couldn't figure out how it was going to work. Raider Springs Racers. Yes, Raider Springs Racers, of course, it's you guys' number one most anticipated attraction. I think this one had nine responses out of the 21, so almost half of them, or, over, uh, yeah, almost half of them, um, and it makes perfect sense why. It's an absolutely incredible attraction. I, it's a great family attraction. I really, really miss this ride. And I miss Cars Land in general, especially that Cars Land ice cream from the ice cream cones. And hopefully, as you saw, if you've checked out my uh, construction updates, I'll link them my latest one up above um, in the right corner here. But <laughs> Mater's, they're still working on that the, the refurbishment of that attraction. Half of it is gone. So hopefully by the time the parks do open, they... Uh, Put the other half of meters in then they it can reopen at full capacity because of course the ride itself will have to be at half capacity so those are the your seven most anticipated rides coming or that you're excited to ride when you get back to disney, disney california adventure i'll be doing one for disneyland go check out the disneyland poll i'll actually link the google form on the on the uh in the description of this video to the um disneyland poll so you can go vote to see what your favorite attraction is, or what your most anticipated most anticipated attraction to come to uh, to ride at Disneyland Park is, and that'll be the next video, which hopefully will come out later this week. This video was supposed to come out like weeks ago. I'm so sorry, guys. I got busy and other news came up, but um, these videos will definitely come out. And again, comment below what theme parks you would like me to do these polls for for anticipated attractions. I guess you really can't do any East Coast parks because a lot of those are open, so I guess it'll be West Coast parks only. Even around the world, a lot of theme parks are open. So it's kind of West Coast parks. Any park that's closed, um, comment below what you, if you want me to do that park, and I'll do a poll for that park. But as always, guys, definitely check out my theme park wizard merch. I have just a new Frozen shirt that came up, and um, I have some lovely masks. If you need any theme park wizard masks, all of it's in the link below in the theme park wizard shop. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more theme park updates. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with all your friends. And as always, have a fantastic day.